personal battle. You have gone through a lot. Um, at 13, you were diagnosed with a Scoliosis. terrible disease. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so what happened since then? Well, at four, I, was, I, was, I had a tumor. And then I had an abscess in my leg at 11. I had surgery on my leg. Then they discovered my spine was crooked when I was 12. I had surgery at 13. And they implanted two metal rods in my spine. They fused it all together. So if you notice, I, cannot, I can't bend at all. My entire spine is fused with metal rods. Whoa. And so, um, what, what does that do to your movement? You, you certainly cannot move around like no, this. No, I right? can't move at all. So you always have to be like this. Exactly. So how can I be sexy? Because you know, you do those <laughs> photo shoots, and they say arch your back, and I'm like, I'm oh, arched. Much, yeah. You know, and they say stick your butt out. And I was like, that's as how does it goes? You know, I mean, uh -huh. I can't, I can't really turn. I can move my shoulders, and if I turn, I turn at my knees or at my hips. Yes. You know what I mean, or my ankles. But if you were to hold my knees and hold my ankles, I can't move at all. So, and even turning my back or my neck, or when I'm laying down, I'm down. I mean, I have to grab something to turn over because I can't just curl up. You were so only 13 difficult. when you were diagnosed. Mm -hmm. How did you feel when you it, You that? know, I'll tell you what. Um, it wasn't so bad at the beginning because I didn't know what was going on. I was very confused. And they just said, Jeanette, your back is crooked, we're going to fix it, we're going to make it straight, and you're going to have to do this and wear this, and I, okay, I didn't know what was going on. When I woke up from surgery, it was true hell. I didn't, I didn't even understand what was going on. All I knew was how much pain I was in. And then I had to learn how to walk again because I was laying down for so long, I had to, that big how long? cast brace. How long did you, you know, I down? don't remember to be honest, but it was, um, it, it was long enough to where my legs went into atrophy and I had to learn how to walk again. And I had to practice and that was very painful. And then here I'm a 13 year old, all these girls are starting to get figures and I'm still concave, I got this big thing on. You know, I used to have short hair. And the reason why I have long hair, a lot of people don't know this, is to cover my scars on my back. It, oh, I, I really? became, yeah, I have, you do have scars. I have on your scars. Back. Oh yes, you do have scars on your back. You see? Wow, from here, mm -hmm. and it all goes the from way here down. to here, and that's when I started growing my hair. And I, I think I was just very—I didn't feel good about myself, and it, it was just—it was a horrible, horrible time in my life. Jeanette now lives in her husband's hometown of Indianapolis, Indiana. It's a quiet place surrounded by nature. A far cry from Brooklyn and the bustling New York City where she grew up. You'd never guess from this serene setting that just inside is the heart of the Black Widow's lair, her own personal pool room. It is here that her husband, George Breedlove, gives the champion some competition. George is a retired pool professional, but he certainly has not lost his touch. Take a look at this mean trick shot. You don't have to jack up that much. He can still show Jeanette a thing or two. Who do you think it's better, you or? I knew that was coming. <laughs> I think that I have, um... You think real hard now. <laughs> I, I do. I think, think that I, I think that in certain ways I have more knowledge. And I think in um, certain ways he has more experience and more power. Uh, he has a lot of different weapons in his arsenal that... Um, are just incredible. So we, we have different strengths, but you know, it's it's a battle. It's a battle. So she did not answer your question, I which did. is good. <laughs> <laughs> Jeanette showed us many beautiful rooms, but the most impressive sight of all just might be her closet. This is the Black Widow's Closet. This is where I go before every tournament to decide what I'm going to wear. At least she doesn't have to pick a color. Blouses, pants, jackets, shoes. No wonder they call her the Black Widow. Almost all of them are gonna be sleeveless because they get really hot when I'm playing pool. 
and then I just have some kind of jacket and different kinds of pants. I can wear a skirt, but I'm more comfortable in pants because a lot of times you have to really stretch and you have your legs wide open. I like this one also because it kind of looks like a web. This is bloodshed here. This is just don't mess with me. <laughs> For me, I think it's important to feel sexy and feel strong when you're playing pool. I'm a woman and I want to feel strong. I want to feel um, aggressive and competitive and, and go out there and feel sharp and, and show some creativity. Jeanette and George recently added a new member to their family. This is their daughter, Cheyenne Lee Breedlove, who was recently adopted by Jeanette and George after many years of trying to have a child of their own. This is Cheyenne's little secret. She doesn't know this, but I already have her entire career figured out. I'm gonna have her start practicing very young. So this is Cheyenne's cue stick. We have her little, uh, her little cue case. So Baby Widow's gonna start practicing early. You just adopted this beautiful little thing. Cheyenne, Cheyenne. Uh, tell us what you had to go through so that you, oh. you, 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 you end up adopting. I wanted like a zillion children, as many as I can afford and as much time as I could spend. And it just didn't happen. And since then, I've accomplished a lot in my career. And maybe that's why. And I had a miscarriage once last year. Never have I been so sad, so deeply sad, numb. I really felt beat down. I really felt like I, I can't even move. Somehow, with, with a lot of prayer and a lot of friends, they said, why don't you adopt? She's beautiful. Thank you. And my husband gave her uh, my family's last name, Lee, as her middle name. And the last name is Breedlove, my husband's last name. Did you know she can beat me in nine ball already? Oh. What do you 